Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a web app to show subsets of data for each particular row of a table. So in this example, I got region 1, I got an area Midwest, and a name. But within this area, I want to display some states. So here I have states for region 1. I got Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. Now I want to display this in a web app. I'm going to use a tool called Colorbox, and I'll show you how that works. So if I go over to my web app, I have my grid here of my first table with my region, area, and name. Now i got a button called States. So when I click that button, States, this color box pops up. And now i got my subset of Region 1 with the States. So i got Region 1, i got the States, and i got the tax rate. So then for each row, I could check a subset of data for each row with this record. So basically I'm combining the two tables and also able to display on the web app. I'll give a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest video. Let's get started with this video. Here I have my Google spreadsheet. I got it named Web App Color Box on top here. I have a table called I got a table with region, area, and name. Region being one, two, three, area being Midwest, West, and Southeast, and three names I got below. And that's all the data, no formulas, it's just data here. I got, and that sheet is called region. I have a states sheet here. And here I got the region numbers with the state names and the tax rate. So that is the data I'm going to use. There's no formulas in these sheets, and that's how it's set up. Next, I'm going to go to my app script here through my script editor. I got this opened up. I'm going to give my project a name. Web app color box. I'm going to hit rename. Now I got that named. Next, I'm going to copy in my Google app script code. There I have that copied in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my HTML page. I'm going to hit this plus sign, HTML. And I'm going to call this Web App Boot, the same name as what you see over here. I'm going to hit Enter. There I have that created. Next, I'm going to copy in my HTML code. There I have that copied in. I'm going to scroll to the top. I'm going to hit Save for both. Now they're both saved. I'm going to go to my Code.js file first. So here I got a do get from template from file and I'm doing an evaluate. So this basically kicks off my web app with the do get. That's a standard Google script function. I'm doing a create template with my HTML name and then my evaluate and I'm returning it. So that's going to evaluate my HTML, render it and pull it up when I deploy my web app. So here is my HTML page. Uh, to start that off, I got four libraries that I got attached here. And they're all coming from this CDN.js, which is basically they're hosting it on a cloud. You can link it, you can pull that data off, and you don't have to have those files within your code. So it's a really nice feature. I will give the links to those two sites where I pulled it from in the comments below the section. Also, I will provide the code in the comments section below. Is the code from Code.js and the code from Web App Boot HTML, both in those. And I'll show you how to get the links, but these links will be in the code anyway, so you can just copy and paste it and you'll have the links. And the next thing I'm doing here is I got a script. Now this script is basically document ready, ready so when the the web app comes up and everything gets populated. This JavaScript, or what it's called a jQuery command here, will call get data right here. My function get data. And here's my get data function. So within my get data function, I got this Google script run handler here. This will call a Google app script function that's tied to the end of this, which is get regions. So if I go back over here, I got my, 
And here I got this include file name, which I don't really need anymore. I had that in previously, so I'm gonna delete that just to get take away confusion here. So I got my git regions here. And basically what I'm doing is declaring my spreadsheet object, then I'm declaring my sheet object of region using the region name here. So that's again tied down here. And then I got my range that I'm getting. I'm getting all the data in that range and getting the values. And then I'm returning the get values. So when I, this get data range is gonna pull all the cells that are populated. And then, well that's getting the range and then I'm getting the values from that range. And then I'm sending the values. And that's basically a multi-dimensional array that's gonna, I'm sending back to the HTML. So I'm gonna save this since I took that function out go back over to the HTML so with it with that that array is coming back as AR so AR is my array I'm doing a console log which this helps for debugging this is not needed but you can use this through some web tools in your browser to see the data come through the next thing I'm doing is I'm declaring this display table here I'm setting that to blank, I'm kind of initializing the parameter here, or variable, and then from there I'm building my table here. So I am, each of these is a string and I'm just concatenating each string and that's what this plus equals is. So I'm concatenating this big string here, which is my HTML code. So again, I'm starting with table, I'm doing a class table that's my bootstrap to make it look like the bootstrap CSS there setting my header record a region area name closing that off with a row here's my for each so I'm going through each iteration of my array it's a multi-dimensional so how that works I'll go to my regions is each row is an array and it has three elements in it which is another array so it's region area name. So it's multi-dimensional. One array for all the rows and then each array for each of the columns. So this will cut through my rows here, this for each. And I'm looking at item here. So then for each item, and this says index greater than zero, I don't want the first row because the first row is my header record. And I don't want to display that since I have it already set up here in my header up here. So then once the first zero will be my first row and then the, my real true data row will be one, which will come through here. And I'm doing the item zero, one, two, which is my columns. Zero being A, one being B, and two being C. There, and then I'm adding a button for states and I'm doing an on click here and I'm passing the region with that on click that says show states, which would be my function here. So each row I am displaying the data, adding a button of states. And then when this show states, I'm passing a region through. Again, closing that off, table, closing it off with a table. And then I'm assigning that, this string here, this HTML string to row data ID, which is all the way here on the bottom here with this div statement. So I'm injecting that HTML in this div right here, which will display the table. So now if I'm going through and I want to click states, so I'll click the show states here button. That's going to take me to my next JavaScript function of show states. And again, I'm passing the region number in there. Again, calling a Google Apps Script function here, and that is on the bottom, and that's get states, and I'm passing that region into that function. So I go over here, I got my get states here on the bottom, and I'm passing in a region. I'm setting up an array of return data. I'm declaring my spreadsheet. I'm declaring the sheet called states. I'm getting the last row of that sheet because I'm going to go through each row. I'm starting with row number two. 
since I'm skipping the header record, I'm going straight to this first row with Indiana in it. I'm going to where I get the last row. And then if any of those rows equals region, the first couple, the first column equals region, then I'm going to push that data to my array, grabbing the state and the tax rate. And then once I get all that, I'm going to return it back. Return back to my HTML page here. And now I'm going to go through it. Next, I'm doing a console log with the AR here. And again, that's for just debugging in the browser. Now I'm setting up my display table, my variable here, and I'm starting it and I'm building a big string here of HTML. So I'm starting with a div here and I'm adding some extra padding of 10. And this is just going to help the color box to expand a little bigger, give it a better visual. Next, I'm doing a span here for the region and displaying that region number on top. That's kind of like my header record up top. And I'm giving that a size of 20 and bold here. Then I'm doing my table, setting this class of bootstrap doing the state's tax rate. Then I get to my for each here where I'm going through each array here, displaying the item zero, which would be state, and then one would be my tax rate. Closing that table, closing the div. Here is my color box command here where I'm doing an HTML colon display table right there. And then that pops open that window where you can see the the color box and the extra data within that. So here I'm going to go up to here, save, and now I'm going to go to deploy. So I'm going to deploy new development. This is my first time of deploying it. I'm going to select the type up here. So I'm going to select this settings thing, web app. I'm going to give it a description. I'm going to just say new call it whatever you want, execute as me, only myself, deploy. That's going to go through and look at it. And I should get a permissions thing pop up here that I need to go through the permissions. So authorize access. Yes. This is where I do my permissions. Select my account. Advanced. Go to web. Web app color box. Allow. And now I should get my URL web app right here, my executable. Click that. And now th there it is, load my data. I can go through the console log here. If you go over here, more tools, developer tools, and you go down to an array down here, you can see the region area name, all this come through right there. So that's that console log that's doing that, displaying that information when I when it's pulling up. So this right here is displaying that information over here. It just gives you a visual how this information is coming in. And if I select states here, it'll pop up my color box where I have my states and tax rate. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Again, I'll put the links in for the libraries, for the color box and the bootstrap. These, how I, what, what sites I got these links are, but also I'll provide the code in the comment section in the video as well. Until next time.